What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, I'm a piano music! Y'all know that's my shit, right? Shout out to Joburg, my second favorite city in the world. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Miran, Soweto. Hey, listen, Santon, I know we get it and I'll be back soon, play it, okay? And we're gonna fly all the way to South Africa. Joe Berg, Kayalami, stop the show. Yeah, that's where the Mall of Africa is at. I've been there plenty of times. I was buying a lot of weaves and sandals. But check this out, though. There's a story of a brother. He's a soccer player by the name of Tandare Ndoro. Now, for us, you know, we really don't watch soccer as African Americans. We more of the NFL. But, you know, soccer is huge, like all across the world. Like this guy right here, um, he was doing pretty good. You know, we might not know who he is, but people in South Africa, the Zimbabwean community, they know who he is. Um, and it's not uncommon for a lot of Zimbabweans to be in, in especially in South Africa, Botswana. I know that because I met some of them when I was, you know, staying in Santon. You know, um, they, they, they do a lot of the work there and things like that. And they'd be out there hustling. Um, and so this is what this guy did. You know, he basically worked hard. His talents took him to play for the national team. He played in Orlando. He played in Oman. And um, he ended up with this, this pretty um, interesting lady by the name of whatever her name is. The one that stole all his money. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, shit. That's her name. She stole his damn money. Okay. That's what happened. All right. So he ended up getting with her. After he ended up getting with her, what did he do? Dun, dun, dun. Sound effect, Nemo. His estranged wife, Thando Maseko, was loving all on him. Booty climbing sounds. And she was putting on him, y'all, like, sad music. Oh, baby, I love you for all. I really want you in my life. Get me all of your money, and I'll just do everything for you. And stop the show. And, of course, my man, you know, he's a simp, so... That's what he started to do. He started to give me like a cha-ching sound effect, Dima. Yeah, like he started spending all his money. He was living a luxurious uh, lifestyle. Now stop the show. <laughs> she wasn't doing shit, all right? He was buying houses, luxury cars. And like I said, Kayalami, right? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that's not too far from Midran. And the Mall of Africa is like a really dope mall. It's over there. Tons of restaurants. It's really expensive. You know, a lot of gated communities over there. If I lived out there, I would definitely live in Kailami. Stop the show. Ladies, if I'm in uh, South Africa, come see a nigga. But anyway, um, so that's what happened, right? He was out there doing his thing. And, well, guess what? He registered all of his properties and cars in her name. You stupid. Can I get a da 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 sound effect? All right, no, stop the show. I told you, athletes are sometimes very dumb, okay? She kicked him out of their house. She seized all of his cars. Now, they have been, you know, going through it. Didn't give me some punch of uh, sound effects? Yeah, they've been going through it. Um, you know, he had, you know, allegedly strangled her and beat her and throw a TV at her. Um, and they just had a traditional wedding like six months ago, but stop the show. I think traditional law and customary law works in South Africa to a certain degree. But, um, yeah, it don't work when you put all your stuff in her name, player. And now you have people that's from Zimbabwe that are saying that, you know, well, this is what South African ladies do. Some of them, they're looking for these footballers for their money. And it's a lot of um you know people that are you know trying to do that in south africa a lot of foreigners have got money a lot of nigerians um you got some uh shout out to my brother zach mcquesa i interviewed him he's a fighter uh from congo and he lives in south africa so you got a lot of guys um in south africa that's doing some real powerful stuff that's from all types of communities you know the Ghanaian community you got some rich african americans out there in fact there was a documentary about some African-Americans that was doing pretty good in South Africa. Um, but, but the thing about it was that she was only with him, it seems, for the money. And he has lost everything. Stupid. Okay. Now, 
at one point, um, he was doing very well, and they compare him to Francis Sean High, okay? And he was the highest paid player at, um, you know, in Limpopo on the team. And this particular guy, Francis, passed away in 2006 when he was broke. And he is rumored also to have lost his money to a South African woman also. Now, I, I just want to talk to guys about this. Obviously, we're a little bit, um, you know, we understand laws a lot better. But, you know, we, we just want to um, talk about this because as much as we want to blame her, we got to blame him. Okay. And too much is given, much is required. All right. So you have a guy that probably came from nothing and then didn't value it and trusted a woman, gave it to her, possibly a woman that he felt like, you know, he couldn't, he probably couldn't get her if he didn't have the money. And I'm going to go back to my man, Warren Buffett. Always invest in what you understand. What am I talking about? As much as we talk about women, the one thing that I understand about women is that I don't understand women. That's what I, I'm making it very simple. I know that I don't understand them that much. I know that much. I know that in, in, that investing in women, um, in some cases, will more than likely give you zero to limited results and gains. All right, you always spend more from my own calculations than what you're gonna get back. That I know. So I don't invest in things like that. I invest in things that I know give me a return. Like shout out to Fidelity. Shout out to my big bro, Blackest Night. Shout out to the cryptocurrency. Now I've never invested in that yet, but Randy B, formerly the Randy Booker YouTube channel, he's doing pretty good in that. Um, you know, I, I'm a guy that does, you know, index funds and stocks. Um, some of you guys do real estate. Some of you guys have other businesses that you understand and you invest in that. And if I'm going to work hard for my money, I'm not going to let you take it from me. If you want to leave, that's cold, but you're not going to, you know, make me broke. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to protect myself. And this is how a lot of guys go broke. You make your money, you use your talent <clears throat> and somebody else benefits who doesn't know how to, um, who, who, who can't get it themselves. And then what they do with your money is they blow it because, um, they don't know how to get it. They didn't work to get it and they, you gave it to them. So they don't know how to uh, respect that dollar anyway. So for the both of you, it's better that <coughs> you keep it all yourself because the next guy she gets with, I can guarantee you, he ain't gonna have to do nothing. Okay. He won't have to do anything. And that's the funny part. You gave her all of that. The next guy that she gets will have a guy in your house. Booty clapping sounds. <laughs> he will be doing that. All right. And then you won't have nothing at all, at all, at all. You'd be sitting around, sad music. Man, I can't believe that I took all my stuff, brother. She took my stuff, brother. I'm, I'm going to join MGTOW. I'm going to join the Manosphere. I'm going to join the Red Pill, brother. I'm going to join the Pill, brother. I'm tired of this, brother. No, 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 no. It will be your fault. It'll be all your fault. And you can't be mad. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. Check out the first content at the top. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I am out. <laughs>